So I was asked a little while ago to do a day, a high protein vegan day without protein powder. This person said they just do not like protein powder. And so I thought I would do that, take it a little bit further than that and cut out all of my favorite, you know, processed protein sources. So no Nugo bars, <laughs> so sad. No protein powder, obviously, which I have pretty much every day. I put it in my smoothie. Sometimes I have it with oatmeal and no like store-bought mock meats. I'm trying to keep this as whole as possible. Well, not really, because I'm probably going to make some homemade seitan, which I guess would not be a whole food, but really trying to make this as accessible as possible and as cheap as possible. So the possibly hardest thing to find would be like the vital wheat gluten for the seitan, but in my experience, it's pretty easy now to find it in stores, at least if you have the like the natural section with all of the, the Bob's Red Mill brand stuff, there's probably going to be vital wheat gluten there. But other than that, it's just going to be beans and fruit and grains and, and stuff like that. Easy to find, pretty cheap stuff. I'm also trying to keep it fairly low soy. Obviously, like in place of seitan, you could do tofu or something and get quite a bit of protein that way, but I'm trying to keep it from just being an all soy day. So I'll have some soy milk, of course, and I'll probably have some tofu a little bit and something else. But yeah, trying to keep it not like 10 servings of soy. If it were just up to me, no protein powder or anything. Okay, I'm just eating tofu all day. Everything I've chosen, I've planned everything out and everything I've chosen is stuff that like I would actually eat, you know, stuff that I would like because otherwise I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't make this video. Even a day of eating stuff I don't want to eat. Well, I mean, I, day, I did a day of raw vegan. So what am I even talking about? Really, the, eating more beans than I would like would be harder than eating that giant, disgusting, watery salad, really. So to start with, I'm just gonna have a piece of toast with a little bit of peanut butter, a tablespoon of peanut butter and some cinnamon, and that's gonna be my little kind of pre-workout snack. Usually I would have my Nugo bar. You can make a homemade protein bar without protein powder. It's gonna be pretty hard and it's not gonna be super high in protein anyway. It's gonna be debatable whether or not that's even a protein bar or if it is a protein bar, it's gonna taste like absolute ass. Minimalist Baker has one that has a bunch of hemp seeds and stuff in it. I actually made that once, it is disgusting. Don't do it. Nasty, bitter, weird, horrible. Oh, and I'll have a clementine on the side just to, you know, enhance the absorption of the iron from the peanut butter and the wheat. And then I'll work out and figure out breakfast. That's a lie. I already know what I'm having for breakfast. Like I said, I already planned all this out. Oh, and by high protein, I mean 20% of total calories coming from protein or more. So 2000 calories would be about 100 grams of protein. So I'm shooting for 100 grams of protein in 2000 calories or less. Like I said, peanut butter toast, peanut butter toasty. <laughs> I don't know why my brother and I started calling it that forever ago. I can't even be like, that's what I call it for my kids, nope. Me and my brother, two grown ass adults. Anyway, peanut butter, cinnamon, and a clementine. Not a high protein uh, meal or snack by any means, but it's got a, a decent amount from the peanut butter, obviously mostly fat, you know, a high fat food, but it's got a little bit of protein, a few grams from the tablespoon of peanut butter and a little bit from the wheat, not a terrific source of protein in terms of protein quality, but offers a little bit. All right, so this is gonna be my no protein powder smoothie. I've got some soy milk. I'm gonna use a cup of soy milk, a quarter cup of frozen strawberries, quarter cup of frozen blueberries, one small frozen banana, an ounce of almonds, a tablespoon of ground flaxseed, and the secret ingredient that you can already see, it's beans. It's beans. So I did this a long time ago. I read from, I believe it was Fat Free Vegan. She had a smoothie that had white beans in it. And I've seen it elsewhere as well. It seems like you can get away with like a quarter cup of beans before you maybe start to taste them. Obviously you wanna use a milder bean, like a cannellini or a Great Northern. These are cannellini beans. Like I said, I remember trying this. It's been like several years ago now and I remember it being fine and not being able to taste it, but I don't know, I'm like skeptical, so. But yeah, obviously some protein's coming from this. It's only a quarter of a cup, so it's only gonna be, you know, a few grams. Some protein from the almonds as well, also a lot of healthy fat, a lot of calories. 
uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe a gram from the flax and several grams from the soy milk and a gram or so from the, <laughs> from the fruit. So here it is. And it's actually really tasty. You cannot taste the beans at all. I forgot to say for the almonds, uh, really good idea to soak them if you don't have a super powerful, super powerful blender. But yeah, delicious. Um, if you wanted to try more, like a half of a cup, maybe if it were like a chocolate type smoothie, I'm just trying to think of flavors that would really, you know, help mask the, the bean taste. Like I said, I don't taste it at all with this. I don't know, if I tried a half a cup, I feel like, I feel like you might taste it. But if it had some cocoa powder in there, maybe not. Forgot about my coffee. I did have coffee this morning with my Splenda and my soy milk. This is my second cup. Uh, so this does provide a fair amount of protein, I guess, from the soy milk because I put like three ounces, I think, in a cup. So six ounces total. So yeah, like a few grams of protein. I won't count that though for the for the total. Oh no! <laughs> No! I put in the Splenda in my cup while I was making the coffee and then I went off to blow dry my hair and then I came back and I guess didn't notice there was already Splenda in the cup and must have put more in and so now it's disgusting. It's so overly sweet. No! No! Mm. I can't. I gotta make another cup. That is so disgusting. Aww. Is there something on my face? Oh no, it's shadow from my glasses. Okay. Okay, so the day is over. I have what is now cold <laughs> dinner. I'll have to warm it up in the microwave. I feel like, what is that from a Christmas story? My mother hadn't had a hot meal in over 10 years or whatever. Tiny baby decided to cry for a long time. But everything's quiet now. It's, oh my god. Oh my god, it's almost nine o'clock. Great. Let's see. I need to go back to lunch. I had some just vegetable soup. It's the alphabet soup from Issa Does It, but any sort of soup like that would work. Um, I add beans to it, or I added beans to it at least this last time. Carrot, celery, onion, garlic, potato, you know, just standard kind of vegetable, tomato-based kind of soup. And then with that, I had a wrap with some hummus. I had the uh, pimento cheese style hummus from Fat Free Vegan. I think I've talked about that before. It's really yummy. It's got a little bit of uh, tofu in it and no oil or anything. So it's pretty good in terms of, uh, in terms of protein and some cucumber and bell pepper. And I think that's it. And the wraps I used, I forgot. I used the Mission Plant Powered Wraps, and those actually do have protein powder. They have pea powder in them. I guess regular tortillas are pretty high calorie, aren't they? Because I like these because they're like 70 calories, I think. But I think they have some other ones. Some like low carb ones that don't have any protein powder in them, but are still pretty low calorie. I had a very, very tiny green apple and a tablespoon of peanut butter. And then dinner is, again, this. <laughs> which I ate about half of curry, some lentil curry adapted from Loving It Vegan. Just saute some onion. I was out of white or yellow onion, so I just used red onion. And carrot, she doesn't have carrot in her recipe, but I added three carrots. Saute that in a little oil, tablespoon of oil for 10 minutes. I always do that with carrots if I'm cooking something with carrots and it's not going to cook for a long time because... My kids are gonna eat it and they prefer if the carrots are soft. So yeah, saute for 10 minutes, then add some garlic. I used, I think, four cloves of garlic, mince that, and then a bunch of, you know, your typical curry spices, right? Curry powder, cumin, coriander, a little bit of cayenne, turmeric, oh, a little bit of salt when sauteing the onion and carrot mixture. So yeah, add in the spices and the garlic for a minute or two, and then put in the lentils. Her recipe uses dried lentils. I wanted to make it pretty fast, and I had canned lentils, so I used two cans, a bunch of canned tomatoes, one of the, the big, you know, 28 ounce cans. One cup of water in, that worked pretty well. Just let it simmer basically for, I think it was 15 minutes. Oh, some vegetable broth as well. I used the better than uh, bouillon, the chicken, flavor, the vegan chicken flavor, three teaspoons of that. And yeah, let that cook about 15 minutes and then add in the coconut milk. I don't use a whole can. I just used about half of a cup of coconut milk. So it still gets 
kind of creamy, but it's not a thousand calories for, you know, a quarter of a cup. <laughs> oh, I added some spinach too at the end, about three ounces or so of spinach. Some more salt, a little bit of pepper. Yeah, oh, sugar, that is absolutely necessary. Her recipe calls for, I think, a tablespoon of coconut sugar. I used about two teaspoons of brown sugar. Yeah, you really, really need that. Otherwise it's like really tart and just tastes, just tastes kind of wrong. You know, the sweetness makes a big difference. Balances it out and makes it really yummy. So yeah, add that. And then you might be wondering what's on top. What, what are these weird looking little, little things? You probably know what it is. It's seitan. It's the seitan I made. I just found a random recipe. I think it was from Connoisseur's Veg. She has just the, the base recipe. And then for the flavoring for the broth, you can do the, the beef kind, the chicken kind, or the, um, the pork kind of flavoring. I didn't do any of those. Well, that's not true. I guess I did the chicken one, but without the poultry seasoning. And yeah, it's just a standard, standard seitan. You know, you need the dough and then you simmer it in a really, really salty broth for like an hour or so. And that's, there you go. You got your seitan in the pan, just sauteed it a little bit. It would be really good on a grilled. If you have like a grill pan or an actual grill, you know, that would be really good and put that on top. And so this, um, again, I've eaten about half of this or so, uh, about one serving of all of the seitan I made today. Like 18 grams of protein or 20 grams of protein, something like that. It's a lot. It's a lot for only like a hundred calories, right? So that is like really helping me out. Mm. So yeah, with the lentils and all that seitan, very, very high protein dinner. I'm already feeling kind of full. So I'm gonna try and finish this. And then I think I had planned like popcorn and like something else too. I don't know if I'm gonna do that, if I'm gonna achieve that because it's already like nine and like I said, I'm pretty full. Everything I've eaten so far comes to about 1500 calories and 85 grams of protein. So that is about 21% uh, protein. But again, 1500 is quite low for me. Uh, I've burned about 2000 calories today and it's only nine. So it'll end up, you know, 2100, something like that. Yeah. I definitely don't usually have a 600 calorie deficit. <laughs> I don't really like to be in any deficit. Um, yeah. So I'm sure, I'm sure I will be ravenous in like, Shit, man, but then it's gonna be 10. Fuck. <laughs> See, I don't wanna wait too long to eat because what if I drink a lot of water and then I'm gonna have to pee and then I'm not gonna be able to sleep because I'm gonna have to keep peeing or I'm gonna wake up and I have to pee. Shit. All right, I'm gonna go put this in the microwave to warm it up a little bit and then we'll see what happens. So I did end up eating more food. You can see snacks number two and three here. I had my little oatmeal snack I've been having a lot lately. It's just cold. I mean, cold outside and this is warm. Oh, it's just, it's so good. I was off oatmeal for so long and now I'm just obsessed with it. Specifically the instant oatmeal. I think I talked about in the last what I ate today. I love the little packets of instant oatmeal. It's a little bit sweet though. So I mix it with just regular unflavored oats, about a quarter cup, put in a half a cup of soy milk, unsweetened soy milk, another quarter cup or so of water. And then a little bit of sliced almonds on top. About 13 grams of protein and 332 calories. So yeah, not bad. Oh, I probably added extra cinnamon to that too because I just love cinnamon. And then for my third snack, I had some sunflower seeds. So another five or so grams of protein there. And another thing I've just been eating so much lately. I've actually been eating it like in place of popcorn. I haven't had popcorn in so long. I'm shunning popcorn in favor of sunflower seeds. I just, I can't believe that. So the day works out to about 2000 calories. It says exactly 2000 calories, which is pretty crazy. 104 point grams of protein. So we did it guys. Pretty proud of myself, especially considering how uh, affordable this is. Com I mean, compared to like my normal, <laughs> my normal high protein days with my Nugo bars and my store-bought mock meats and my fucking Kite Hill Greek yogurt. I'm actually cutting that out because that is just ridiculous. I used to weigh way too much of it in the smoothies. It's so expensive. It's stupid. And for the price for the day, it works out to $8.64, give or take. I put in like almost every single thing. <laughs> I didn't put in like salt and some of the spices. So I'm sure that would add 
you know, a few more pennies or so. But yeah, this took a long time. It's kind of fun. I kind of like doing monotonous stuff like this, just looking up stuff and finding prices. This is all from uh, Fred Meyer, since that's the store where I got all the stuff. It's the store I shop at the most. So I just used our local Fred Meyer online and got the prices that way. This is all per serving. This is like what I ate for the day, right? The most expensive thing would be the smoothie, unsurprisingly. <laughs> Right, with the flax and the um, berries and the soy milk. Soy milk is not the cheapest thing. The wrap as well, a little bit more given the, uh, well, the bell pepper really, right? Bell pepper is so expensive. Oh, and the sunflower seeds, I actually forgot to put that over there. Yeah. Oh, let's make that, uh, how do I do that? How do I do that? How do I do that? Google, there we go. 60 cents <laughs> for sunflower seeds. Not the cheapest thing. <laughs> so yeah, you could definitely trade that out for for something cheaper if you wanted. Popcorn would be cheaper. So hopefully that has given you some ideas on how to eat high protein without protein powder. Obviously it is harder <laughs> in my opinion, unless you really, really like beans and eat them like at every meal. It's a little bit, a little bit difficult. Um, and if you're low fat, that makes it easier too. If you eat a lot of beans and are low fat, right? Cause you're saving calories there that will make it easier, but I definitely don't recommend eating low fat. You certainly don't have to eat as much fat as I do. Fat is healthy, fat is important. Yeah, it's it's definitely harder without protein powder and without mock meats as well. I mean, there's a reason I made seitan. It makes a huge difference. Um, it's like a, you know, a quarter of my protein for the day, for the day, right? But luckily, it's yummy in my opinion and very easy to make. And of course, you don't have to eat this much protein. You don't have to eat 20% to get enough protein, to get enough lysine. This day, of course, would have plenty of lysine from all the beans and the peanut butter and whatnot. But if you do, and if you, you know, are into resistance training and really trying to get stronger, trying to grow muscle, it does make sense to aim for more protein. Or if you are trying to lose weight, if you've been struggling to lose weight and you haven't been focusing on protein, that is one thing to try, to try eating more protein and see if that helps you feel more satiated and eat less calories. Why am I just eating? I need to finish this. What am I doing? So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope that was helpful for those of you who were interested in something like this. Patreon.com slash unnatural vegan. Subscribe and I will have a new video very soon. These last few days have confirmed for me that I cannot live anywhere with even moderate amounts of snow. It is just awful. We got probably eight, probably more than eight inches over the last few days. It finally started melting yesterday. And yeah, it was fun kind of at first going out. Well, no, at first it was terrible because it was super windy and it was just raining you know, like ice, basically just hail. And so the wind just blows it into your face. It was horrible. But then the next day, I think it was actually okay because it wasn't windy. Toddler and I were out there. Tiny baby was not having it. No, too swippy. <laughs> but uh, toddler and I had, had a little bit of fun. They were really excited. So went out a bunch and played in the snow. And then Sunday night, we lost power. I thought we weren't going to because the wind was done. It had been done. And I thought that's when we would lose it um, if we were going to. So I thought we were fine. But no, we lost power for the night. But we got it back yesterday, Monday, around 1 in the afternoon, which was shocking because I thought it was going to be out for like a couple days because originally that was the estimate that it wouldn't be back till like Wednesday night. So we got it back and that was good, but it was, it was pretty cold. We pretty much stayed in the kids room all day because the room is really well insulated. So it was a good like 15 degrees warmer <laughs> than the rest of the house. So it was actually pretty comfy under the blanket. So yeah, this was not normal. You know, this was like a historic storm for the area and never experienced anything like this in, in Memphis. Um, there was like a, a weird ice storm when I was little that I like barely remember. But yeah, usually you get like a tiny bit of snow, like an inch is a big deal, right? And then by like the afternoon, it's it's melting, right? <laughs> like, because it's, the temperature is above freezing now. And so now, now it's just this like slushy mess. And that's pretty much it. And pretty much the same here too, you know, usually not barely any snow at all. So yeah, that sucked. Uh, one of our little trees that partner bought like broke in half, this little 
little madrone and so that was kind of sad our pine tree was crazy just absolutely covered in ice the branch was just almost one of the branches was just almost like touching the ground i was like okay that had to have broke right nope it's it's back to where it was now it's just the ice just the weight of the ice and it was also really cool because the um the wind blew all of the ice like this way towards our house so all of like our rocks and trees and stuff were totally icy on this side but the other side none at all so it looked super freaky especially on these like huge trees and like one side super icy and the other side's not that was kind of cool i gotta say but yeah fuck snow there is no blue there's only pink and white and green and yellow and orange Okay. There is no blue. There's no blue. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I'm trying to bribe the baby with candy so they'll leave me alone so I can finish this. <laughs> got these horrible little... Got these... Well, this is not working at all. I just gave you a candy. Why are you crying? Say thank you. No. You're welcome. Got these little the little conversation hearts, the Valentine's Day hearts. They're so nasty, dude. They are so gross. Just the worst candy, but I keep eating it because it's candy. There is no blue. 